we believe firmly that Gitmo, uh, there is no substitute for it that Congress um, will agree upon, that it is the right place to put an enemy combatant for interrogation and when at all possible trial. We believe very firmly that the Congress has tried to tell the administration when it comes to people like this, that we want them to go to Gitmo to be held in military custody for interrogation purposes. So we're putting the administration on notice. We think that sneaking this guy into the country, clearly going around the intent of Congress when it comes to enemy combatants will be challenged. I don't know what they're going to charge him with. I don't know the details of what they plan for this gentleman, but I do know this. If this man, the spokesman for 9-11, is not an enemy combatant, who would be? This guy didn't rob a liquor store. He's a spokesman close to, as you can see, the people who killed over 2,900 Americans. And now we got our hands on him. Why in the world are we treating him as if he's some common criminal? And why in the world is he not at Guantanamo Bay being held by us under our terms and conditions as long as it reasonably takes to get good intelligence